preparation of loose tube cable and breakout kit. This section will cover the preparation of loose tube fiber cable using the field breakout kit. The breakout kit is designed to provide protection and support for terminated loose tube fiber cable. Optimax connectors terminated onto loose tube fiber is intended for use in patch panels or in other applications where the fiber is well protected. As you will see, this breakout kit can be quickly installed in the field. Materials and Components Before starting a field breakout kit installation, ensure you have all the tools and materials that are required. You may be familiar with these standard tools. Electrical or masking tape, lint-free wipes, indelible marker, wire stripper, gel cleaner, needle nose pliers, fiber stripper, fiber cleaver, tweezers, fiber waste bottle. The field breakout kit consists of the terminal assembly 6 or 12 fiber tubes, the base, the cover, an alcohol pad, and the step-by-step -step breakout kit installation guide. Preparation of typical loose tube cable. Strip off the cable jacket and strength member. Thoroughly clean the buffer tubes using alcohol pads or gel cleaner wipes, removing all flooding compound until the buffer tubes are not sticky to your touch. Measure back 955 millimeters, 37.5 inches, and mark tubes. Strip off tube at the 955 millimeter, 37.5 inches mark to expose fibers. Tape each tube onto the work surface, and using alcohol pads or gel cleaner wipes, thoroughly clean all the fibers until the fibers are not stuck together. The fiber's length may be shortened to suit your specific installation requirements. However, you will also have to cut the breakout terminal assembly tubes to this length. Align the tube end with the front tab of the base. Crimp the tabs. To aid fiber insertion, straighten terminal assembly tubes and tape the unit onto side of work area. Using alcohol and lint-free tissues, clean again each fiber. Individually insert the fibers approximately 15 millimeters, a half an inch, into the appropriate color tube. Now gently push the fiber group into the tubes. If a resistance is felt on one fiber, slightly back up the fiber group and push again, continuing until fully inserted. Untape terminal assembly and gently slide unit into the base. The fibers should extend at least 35 to 40 millimeters out of the tube ends. Align the cover tabs and press the cover onto the base. Caution! Do not remove once cover is snapped on. Now the fibers are ready for terminating. Preparation for Optimax installed onto breakout kit. Refer to your selected Optimax installation instruction manual section for installing connectors onto 900 micron buffered fiber. Slide the strain relief boot down the fiber, narrow end first, until it is out of your way. Make sure that the fiber is pushed as far back into the tube as possible. From the end of the tube, mark at 15 millimeters for an LC connector, or mark at 11 millimeters for an SC connector, or at 9 millimeters for an ST compatible connector. Position the fiber stripper against the end of the tube and remove coating in one stripping motion. If the coating is not completely stripped, remove residue by applying one pass starting just after original cut. Again, taking care that the fiber length has not moved during the stripping process. Carefully and thoroughly clean the bare fiber with alcohol pad. Use two or three passes. 
take care to align the coating and not the tube with the stopper on the cleaver. Keeping a steady tension on the fiber will help obtain a good cleave. Using the tweezers, push the fiber as far back as possible into the tube and verify that the end of the 250 micron coating extends out of the tube from 0 to 1 millimeter. The end of the coating shall not be inside the tube. Verify the strip length of 7 millimeters using your Optimax fiber preparation guide. Follow the standard 900 micron fiber installation procedure to finish terminating the selected connector.